everybody. I haven't seen you for a long time. I've been uh, childminding, getting on with other things, getting on with orders, and also sewing. I have been enjoying myself sewing. And uh, I've got a couple of things I want to tell you about. Uh, I've been using up all, well, not all of it. I've been going through my fabric stock and I've been creating. One of the things, or several of the things that I've been creating was, because, uh, what was it? It was a top that I bought I bought a lime green top and it was from Kitten Caboodle, a company called Kitten Caboodle. Very nice lime green top, badly finished on the hem, badly finished on the cuffs. Should have returned it, but I didn't because I liked the colour. It was like a sweatshirty type of top. Uh, the hem has a twisted, it's kind of twisted all the way along. The fabric's kind of twisted and it needs a good press. But I did like the shape of it and I thought right I'm going to trace it off and I'm going to get all the fabrics I've got out there I'm going to make a top well I, I'll get a, a fabric out and I'll make a top so I made a top and the first one I made was a stripey top a black and white stripey top and this was the black and white stripey top Then, as I was making, I thought, well, it's nice, but it hangs low. And I thought, oh, got a light bulb moment. I remembered watching a thing where you can make a, you make yourself a long cord. You put a piece of fabric on the back, you stitch it round. And I'll do a little picture to show you how you do it. And then you put the cord in and you can draw it up, up the side. So then I've got my sweatshirt with a little drawn up section. And I thought, I liked it so much that I thought, right, I'm going to make another one. So then I pulled out some navy blue and black jersey, very thin jersey, and I made another one. Um, the coincidence was, I think I put the drawstring thing on the other side instead of on the right-hand side, I put it on the left-hand side, or vice versa, or something like that. Then I thought, right, I'm going to make another one. So the next one I made was some gingham fabric that I'd got from, um, oh, it, who was it from? Begins with the name. Something Crafts. M m m m not Mimosa Craft. You'll all know it. A place called Something Crafts. I think it's called Miranda Craft. No. Oh, golly, I can't, I can't remember. But anyway. Worst fabric I've ever dealt with. Would not sew. Every time I tried to sew, the knit was snapping. It wouldn't. It was missing stitches. Thought, right, I'll try a new ballpoint needle. Tried the ballpoint needle and um, wouldn't work with that. So in the end, I hand sewed it. I thought, right, I'm going to hand sew it. I, I almost binned it. And I thought, you know, I'm not binning it because I like the fabric. It was very thin fabric. And... Um, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna, be, I'm not gonna bin the fabric. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this top up. So I, I hand sewed around the neck, hand sewed the cuffs, hand sewed the bottom. The rest, it worked well with the overlocker. I could do the seams with the overlocker, but anything on the sewing machine, it just did not want to know. So I made that up, and that was nice. And I did a little drawstring thing again on that one. Thank you. 
then the next one was my lovely turquoise fabric that Alison sent me. The white fabric that Alison sent me that I dyed turquoise and I made a top from that. And that was a, it's a really warm cotton jersey. And I, it's, it's really cosy and it'll be lovely for autumn. And when I made that up and I had a lovely drawstring top thing for that. Then the next one was um, some, I've got it here. The next one was this fabric and the same thing little drawstring section here you can see on the back uh, if I pull that down I might show you a bit better and I pull that get the bow out get the knot out and then you can see what I mean this is the fabric there like that and then this pulls up if I stand up it might make it easier this pulls up you scrunch it up like that and you get that kind of an effect and on the back if I reverse it you can see what it's like I put a piece of a rectangular piece your a rectangular piece and you do, do up there along and down and a bit in the middle and this cord goes round and I secure it in the middle there so it can't be pulled through so if I pull that it won't slide right out and that makes a big difference so that, um, as I said, it pulls up and it makes a nice gather. I have to um, basically tie a little knot to stop it from coming open again, to stop it from dropping. But that's what it looks like with the, uh, with the gathered bit there. So that looked nice. As I say, I just did a, just turned the, the, the neck over and a single stitch on that one. But on other ones I did it, I don't have a cover stitch and I didn't want to add, oh this one I didn't have much fabric to. I just had enough to get this made and I think I had to do, yes I had to do do what I've done in the past. The sleeve has been made of two pieces on that side and two pieces on that side because I didn't have enough fabric. And I've still got a few more pieces of fabric that I can make some more tops with. In fact, I've got quite a lot of pieces of fabric that I can make tops with. So watch this space because I am just making lots of these tops. They go lovely with trousers and unfortunately I'm wearing a dress today. I've had to put a cardigan on. It is freezing. Where July has gone, I do not know. I know some parts of America are getting really, really unbearably hot weather. We have had terrible weather. It's cold. We had to put the heating on two days ago. It was that cold. And um, I'm, as I say, I put a dress on and I was sitting there and I said, I'm, going, I'm really cold. I'm going to have to get dressed up. I'm going to have to put my uh, put uh, a cardigan on. And I've still got a few more pieces of fabric that I can make some more tops with. In fact, I've got quite a lot of pieces of fabric that I can make tops with. So watch this space because I am just making lots of these tops. They will go, they go lovely with trousers. They go lovely, you know, just, just when you're sitting around and they go lovely with trousers. And unfortunately I'm wearing a dress today. I've had to put a cardigan on. It is freezing. Where July has gone, I do not know. I know some parts of America are getting really, really unbearably hot weather. We have had terrible weather. It's cold. We had to put the heating on two days ago. It was that cold. And, um, I'm, as I say, I put a dress on and I was sitting there and I said, I'm going, I'm really cold. I'm going to have to get dressed up. I'm going to have to put my, uh, put uh, a cardigan on. Anyway, what else have I been making? Well, I bought a dress and I like the dress. I bought a dress I, I, I bought it online. That was it. It just popped up on my Instagram. I thought, oh, that's a lovely dress. And I was showing you all different patterns. I think it came from China or something. And it was only 
10 or 11 pound in 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 a uh, i'm not gonna tell you what it was made of but it was 10 or 11 pound and when it came i thought oh that's lovely i wouldn't mind making another one and i could have traced it off but i didn't want to trace it off i wanted to see if i could make another one with lacala and with, not with lacala with soist which is the branch of lacala and so i went to the source section and i created a dress the same to the, to more or less as close a pattern as i could to the boat dress and um it turned out beautiful it this is what the dress was it came with a collar and a little uh, a little um front front button stand and it had a skirt that was a little bit gathered at the waist. I can't remember. I think it was very close to being gathered at the waist. And it had a collar that went up. So I thought, right, I'm going to make it. And I made it. And I want you to tell me which one do you think is the made one? And which one do you think is the bought one? Should I tell you at the end? I'll tell you at the end which one is the made one, which one is the bought one. I thought they both turned out lovely um, and um, if you haven't looked seriously at the pattern that I've just shown you, you might be able to see which is the bought one, which one's the made one because there is a slight variation on this pattern that I've made that, that I got from Sewers that is not on the actual bought pattern. But other than that, I, it's turned out a really, really nice top, nice dress. And that got me on to making another one. But I'm not going to tell you about that because I'm going to save that for another another programme. I'm going to save that for another vlog so you can have a little bit more of me. So I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. Um, as I say, uh, my granddaughter, I was going to I was going to vlog the other day, but the grand, my granddaughter, who has just finished her GCSEs, um, uh, asked if she could come up and stay for a week. She was making a first ever expedition on a, on the train coming from uh, just north of Portsmouth and uh, had to cross London, then had to come to... It's basically a four or five hour journey, four hour, three or four hour journey from where she lives to getting to my place. And she did it. She was remarkably good. And she just chilled with me and her and me and her granddad. <clears throat> we took our places we enjoyed ourselves and so unfortunately the vlogging took a back seat yet again we had a good time she went back on <laughs> we had a little swapsy the other day we took her back we met we have an arrangement where we go halfway down the country and her her dad her father comes halfway up and then we we meet at the services have a coffee have a, something to eat and then we uh hand hand the goods over sort of she was handed back to her daddy but this time we did a swapsy because we returned with the dog because they are tonight they are off on holiday um to kos is it kos no kefalonia they're going to greece to one of the greek islands and she needed somebody to look after the dog so we now have the dog so you may happen to see little georgie sometimes she's getting a bit older she's a little bit less um manic she's a cock working cockapoodle working cockapoo cockapoo she's a cockapoo and uh, oh, a ball is a dummy she has to take that ball everywhere and if you don't give her it she starts barking so she's been banned from having it um we're trying to train her at, we're trying to um wean her off the door off the ball <laughs> we're trying to wean her off the ball anyway I'm going to stop there and uh, I'm going to try and get this vlog up and running sometime over the weekend. 
Uh, this weekend we have the grandson coming. We're going. I'm going to take him to the theatre to see. It's a David Williams play called something awful auntie, awful auntie. Awful auntie. So we're going to go and see a David Williams play with him. He's looking forward to it. So I'm going to pick him up tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday, take him to the theatre and then he's stopping overnight and then we'll take him back the next day. So it's all go. All go with grandkids. But I still am managing to sew. And I'll catch you next time to let you see what my other sewing is. So till then, take care, look after yourselves and bye.